This project is inspired by Beth Appleton's artworks. Gadsden Art has some works by Beth Appleton in our permanent collection with at least one typically on display. She calls her 3D artworks assemblages and she begins by cutting shapes out of brightly colored or painted paper. She then arranges the shapes to create her design. This process requires dedication and precision to achieve the level of detail in her works. A Florida native, Beth Appleton is inspired by the many Florida cities she has lived in, including Quincy, where our museum is located. This project has a few steps, and the first is creating our watercolor background. So because we're going to create a nature scene, we're going to use some blues and greens and also purple just because it's a nice complementary color. You want to make sure that you're getting it across the whole page, covering it edge to edge, each corner. And you should end up with a nice mix of the colors like this. Then we're going to use this sheet, which is available on our website for printing. You're going to have your colored pencils. You can also be marker or crayon. It's really whatever your preference is. And we're going to color those in. Whatever color you'd like, there's leaves, flower petals, and the little centerpieces for flowers. And you can color those whatever color you want. Be very creative with it. Once you have those, you can go ahead and cut them out because we're going to arrange them on our watercolor background that should be drying while we do this. And just because we can be really creative whenever we want, you can also draw your own flowers to go onto your watercolor background. Figure out the arrangement that you're looking for before you glue anything down just so that we know we've got it right. And this little folding trick we're about to do is just a little thing you can do to make it more 3D. Get your glue, get it on the paper, and then it's just a matter of arranging everything to your liking. You can be very creative with it, it's your project. Don't be afraid to scatter those leaves to the wind on the paper. Once you're done, you've created an assemblage. 